All right, guys, so I'm just gonna jump straight into it because uh, this is my first video and I don't wanna lose y'all. So we're gonna be talking about what the hell is going on in the world right now. Um, there's nothing but protests all over, uh, violence, riots, craziness, madness, madness, madness. Now, my only message to the world is we need to realize who our real enemy is because we're out here looting private owned businesses we're out here looting you know all these different things that really aren't touching the people that we're really trying to come at the people that we're really trying to come at don't really care about money you understand so when we're out here destroying you know two hundred thousand dollars worth of property three hundred thousand dollars worth of property a million dollars worth of property two mil three mil y'all have to understand that these people that we're going up against they have trillions they have probably so much money that money is not real. We're going against the elites, okay? So, you know, I understand getting the message out. I understand there's a lot of violence and I understand that, you know, we need to stand our ground as well. But at the same time, we're wasting a lot of energy by coming at businesses because these people own banks that we're fighting against. You understand? <laughs> like we're not gonna be hindering them at all by destroying cities. You think they give a fuck about Minnesota? You think they care about Los Angeles? You think they care about states? They own the whole entire world. And they're obviously not in our best interest because they're spreading shit all over the skies. Like there's, there's, that's a whole different video, but my, my main focus is to get you guys to understand that, you know, we are going against a very, very, powerful enemy and it's not the police it's not the police so people are pissed off at the police police departments people are burning down police departments we're not reaching the real enemy by destroying police departments we're not reaching the real enemy by fighting police police is not the real enemy the police is the are the pawns of the real enemy the real enemy We don't even know what they look like. We just know that they have a lot of power. Because if you think about it, right? The police has a hierarchy, an internal hierarchy, like an internal government. And I know they do. Every police is, the police is countrywide. So they obviously all have, you know, some type of establishment, where it doesn't have to be an establishment, but they have some type of system, internal system, with a hierarchy and police departments that's just the physical that's just the bottom line you feel me or the front line but there's there's a lot you know that we're going up against and it's not just businesses it's not police it's not people it's elites so please stop protesting i mean no 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 excuse me protest your heart out i'm all for that but the rioting and destroying you no know, 300 destroying cities is, is completely pointless because we're not getting back at anyone they're watching us doing these riots and they're like huh, look at these guys look at these guys what the hell they think they're doing you gotta give a fuck about minnesota you, they don't they really do not care they really don't care so with that being said the best way to get back is to unite the best way to get back is to come together as people and realize who the real enemy is, okay? The real enemy is not police, it's the people who own the police, it's the people above the police. The police are the pawns, okay? You're not gonna get to the king by, by taking out the pawns. I mean, no, you can, but you understand what I'm trying to say, you know, like, we need to, we need to do better as people. Um, or we're out here rioting and destroying all these things because it's not doing anything for anyone besides ourselves. You know, people are out here, hopefully not getting killed, but being hurt, arrested, beaten by police even more. Like y'all are really making it worse for yourselves. And we need to realize, like I said, the real enemy is not the people in the blue uniform. The real enemy is the people who, who established those workers in the blue uniform okay and like i said we're never going to get there by rioting we're going to get there by exposing them 
and realizing who the real enemy is. So what we need to do as people is to unite. Unite, come together. Stop seeing each other as the enemy because we are not the enemy. We are literally all in this shit together. I'll say it again, we are all in this shit together. You understand? When the world goes down, we are all going down together. Police are going down with you. They're not safe. They're not safe. The, the elites do not care about us as a whole. <laughs> like, it's crazy that, like, people think that, that we're really doing something by destroying cities. We're not doing anything. That's just, we're just feeding into, into the into the drama man save your energy protect your energy keep it away from these demons that are taking our lives away from us okay that's it i guess that's it um i really just had to open up about that and you know this is my first time even speaking like this uh this is my first video so there's definitely going to be a lot more that i come out with you know once i get a little bit more comfortable with myself but really people please wake up all right the police is not the enemy and I'm black <laughs> and I'm black. So like if anyone's credibility or has credibility, it, I guess it's me because we're the ones that go through the most bullshit. I'm telling you right now, the police are not the enemy. Okay, we need to unite. We need to come together and realize that there's a greater enemy at hand. And, you know, burning down every single police department in New York is not gonna change that. So peace out y'all. And I hope y'all learned something from this video. Monty.